G'day ice cream lovers, my name is Steve Christensen, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoob School. Look, thanks for coming along. Um, sometimes we uh, jump into topics and we talk about topics that most people would think, well, um, we kind of know what things are in the industry and we don't think, well, maybe someone's watching that doesn't know what certain terms are. So we try to be sensitive to that here at Scoop School. Before I jump into it, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is the Ice Cream Club. Heather and Rich Draper, some of the nicest people in the ice cream business. Look, I know I say that about a lot of people, but they, Heather and Rich are actually very, very nice. They run a production facility in, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Boynton Beach in Florida, and they make ice cream that you can sell in your store. Uh, a lot of great flavors, they make custom flavors for you. Reach out to them, theicecreamclub.com. The link is down below. Thank you, Drapers, and everyone at the Ice Cream Club for your episode sponsorship. Now, one of the terms that we use quite often in ice cream is tempering. I did a little bit of artwork here. I started with the green and I accented it with the blue. Don't know whether you can actually appreciate that, but it took me a little bit of time. Uh, that's what we do here at Scoop School. We don't do anything half-hearted. We want to make sure that you get the premium, primo visual experience. So what is tempering ice cream? Well, basically it's bringing it up from a very frozen or lower temperature up to a point where it is scoopable or packable. So the process of bringing uh, or tempering ice cream up is pretty important because when your ice cream comes out of a batch freezer, it's coming out at about 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'm not big on Celsius anymore. I grew up with Celsius, so I apologize. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. We might put a little bit, uh, Madeline, let's put a bit of a, uh, a uh, what do you call it? Like a comparison in the notes here. So it's coming out of your batch freezer at 18 degrees. Drop it down as rapidly as you can in a blast freezer to about minus 20 degrees. And it's basically going to be as hard as a rock. You want it to be that hard because you want to be able to contain the size of that ice crystal, keep it nice and small, but you can't scoop it. It'd be like hammering and chiseling it. So you've got to warm that up to about, now in, in your dipping cabinet, which you have here, it's probably going to be set at about zero, maybe to plus five degrees Fahrenheit. So how do you get it from to minus 20 up to this cabinet temperature. And the product temperature is probably gonna be somewhere around the 10, 15 degree mark. Well, you need to do it very carefully because you want the bucket to consistently and basically uh, all through that product temper up at the same pace. If you've got a bucket that's here, a bucket of ice cream, and you leave it out on a counter, which I've seen every time I walk into an ice cream shop and I see someone with a bucket out on a counter, I cringe because the ambient air temperature in that store is more than likely 72, 75 degrees and the outside wall of that bucket is softening a lot quicker than the core here. So the idea is that you want to bring the product temperature up consistently all together and you can do that either by placing it straight into the dipping cabinet. Perhaps you've got an area underneath that you can um, you're scooping from the top and you can temper underneath or you might have another freezer which we call a tempering freezer that may be set let's say at minus 5 degrees so you're coming up from a minus 20 up to minus 5 it's starting to be a little bit more pliable and then you can move that straight to the case here and then start scooping it straight away regardless of how you temper ice cream or how you bring it up to a scoopable or packable temperature, don't just leave it on the counter. Don't put it in a refrigerator. It should be kind of stepped up very gently because you want consistent tempering. You can't let the outside or the bottom warm up faster. Otherwise, you're going to have a very inconsistent and icy product. I'll guarantee you that. That's all we have for this episode. Nice and easy. Now you know what tempering is. Uh, now you know who the ice cream club is. Pop down, pay them a visit down at the link. Keep on scooping. Smash like. Subscribe. See you in the next video.